Look at her hands, raw, nubbly and carlust. Look at her face like a bean seed soaked in brine. For countless years, she has toiled to wash clothes in frost-freckled mornings and in sun-scorched afternoons. She had drifted murmurless. This is the interstice where these women wash people's clothes. It is a streamlet located in Guarimpa metropolis. They left home over 214 kilometers away. What is distinct about them is that they belong to the same kindred. They are women who take the bacon home. I don't have anyone to help me. I have nine children. This is what I take care of myself and my kids. From feeding to school fees, health and everything. I have been here since 2000. I do this to help myself and to help my child who is in school. I pay my fees and that of my child. Every morning I go out to scout for clothes to wash. When I do, I come back to the stream to wash. I have been hand washing for 30 years. We do this to take care of our needs and that of our children. Our men are farmers. That's why we came all the way to contribute our own quarter, why they contribute this to pay for our children's school fees. Sometimes we wash clothes and clients refuse to pay us. We have to mount continuous pressure. It's December. I want to go home. But This work I do, my mom does the same. She is the one that brought me here. This is our 30th year. My mother has still not rested. Neither have we. We use this to take care of our needs. We have been here for a while. We have been here since from the time truck pushers started selling water. I have three children. I work with a woman who helps me. I also have a husband, but the COVID-19 has affected his illness. And if you wait for your husband, you and your children will go to bed. According to the women, attempts have been made by residents in the neighborhood to embank the streamlet. 
but superiors in the local community they have lived with for years intervened on their behalf. According to the UN Women Watch organization, rural women play a key role in supporting their households and communities in achieving food and nutrition security, generating income and improving rural livelihoods and rural well-being. As women are becoming empowered, the newfound financial freedom had led to what we call the breadwinner phenomenon. 